Hi everyone, this is Galen Martling. Today I am sharing some watercolor. Actually, it's like a vintage watercolor on a vintage stamp scene. So I'm using stamps and dies by Unity Stamp Company. The stamps are making spirits bright. All of it is one big stamp with the exception of some extra envelopes and sentiments that I added as well. And these are the dies that I use. They are scallops and rectangles nesting dies by Unity. And so I'm using Secure Koi watercolor uh, set there. It's like a half pan set there. And I am mixing colors that I like. So I mix black with white to make a gray. And I mix blue and green to make sort of a teal color. Because those are the uh, kind of shades that I wanted to use there. Um, I don't have all of the colors, obviously, that Secure Koi offers, so I just make my own if I don't have the color I want to use. You can do that with most any watercolor. And so now I am using a peach color, and it's going to end up looking more like a tan or a light brown, sort of a vintage old looking mailbox back when we used to have those mailboxes all around. And... Uh, you really don't see them as much anymore, but I'm trying to mimic a vintage look here. So I added uh, some peach color and different shades, and you'll see I'll go back and remove some of the color while the watercolor is wet. See, I remove it with a damp brush in the areas I want to be lighter, and then blot it off onto a paper towel. So you can play around with the colors like that if it's still wet, if the areas are still wet and not all fully dried. Once it dries, you can't really move around the color much. And so I just play around. So the center, I add very light shade of peach, and then I'm going to accent in gray. So I didn't have a palette of gray, so I made it with black and white shades mixed together. I'm using a a very damp, very wet brush to add the color and then I take away where I want. And um, I just kind of do the gray accents all around it. Um, and part of the gifts there have the gray and the envelopes. I'll even add a touch of gray to that, to those. I know envelopes sometimes are white, but again, I'm trying to go for a vintage look, which is, uh, you know, sort of a, a darker, distressed looks, but I'm using watercolor. So I added very light gray using the mixture that I made all around the envelopes, leaving some of the white to show. Now I'm going in with like a, a teal color to just give it a hue of some sort of color, maybe a faded envelope there on all of them. I do the same and just sort of blend that teal and little tiny sections and blend it into the gray. It just gives it a nice soft look, I think. This sort of goes along with the whole vintage theme there. I have a heat tool that I use to heat set that watercolor. You can leave it dry out if you want to. Just make sure it's completely dry before you finish the card. Now I'm adding a little bit of a background hue in light blue and I'll blot that water puddles off of there at the end and um, you just mix it around where you want. You try not to bleed it into the other coloring. So once it was heat set, that's when I added the background. I blot any puddles that I see just to help the drying process along to keep it moving along. Now I have some pins. They are Staedtler Tri Plus Fine Liner pins. And I have a set of them. I used red and teal for this card. And I just accented the hearts and the stamps. Now there's some berries on some of the leaves here. So I, I colored the leaves in teal and the berries in red. I go over all of the dried coloring with a white gel pen just to give it some accents, just to give it some maybe winter snow effect or highlights all around that watercolor area of the mailbox and also the envelopes. 
it's not necessary. I like to do it sometimes. I did it in this case because I thought it would complement the whole look of it. Now I added foam tape, double-sided adhesive tape to the back of the watercolor panel and placed it on a color cardstock in gray and added a few adhesive gems just to finish. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, like and share if you will, and have a wonderful day.